Scientists are developing the technology to recycle air and water for a Mars mission, including a machine that can turn urine into drinkable water. In another experiment, a NASA scientist is taking a much less natural approach to using plants for a complete life support system. Hi, Greg. Almost ready for harvest this afternoon? Almost ready. Here in a chamber just 200 feet square, David Bubenheim has plants growing 10 to 20 times more densely than they do in nature. Rather than imitate real ecosystems, he's manipulating the plants in every artificial way possible to achieve a healthy and steady harvest. People are going to depend on this for their life. So we're trying to be able to show that we can maintain for an extended period of time all the food, all the air, all the water that a crew needs while recycling their waste. Based on experience with the prototype, they know exactly how big a system would be needed to support a real base on Mars. This chamber is about 200 square feet. And for a crew of four people, it would be able to supply and recycle all the air and water. But it wouldn't supply 100% of the food in that case. Uh, to do that, you would need an area about four times this large, or a chamber about this size per person. Bubenheim is now experimenting with the color of light to try to reduce the energy needed to run the system. Well, in all the scenarios we're considering for a space-based habitat, energy is extremely limited. And if we're going to take electricity and make light, we need to use it very efficiently. If you look at these wheat plants that are growing under white light, like plants would outside, where all colors of the spectrum are represented, you can see that there are a number of smaller side shoots that are grown. Those side shoots are waste that has to be recycled because it's only the taller center shoots that produce grain. But growing the wheat under blue light eliminates the side shoots, leaving the important center ones unharmed. Red light works the same. If the color of light can reduce the waste for crops other than wheat, plant-based life support will become even more attractive. But can a plant-based system work reliably over an entire Mars mission? At least one astronaut fears there could be a crisis. Story Musgrave. If there is any form of virus, bacteria, disease, or the plants for some reason become not healthy, then that balance is thrown off and it's fatal. The kinds of designs that we're looking at and actually building one of these for space would actually provide us some segregation. So if the disease were to come into one section, it could easily be separated and quarantined so that the disease didn't spread to the rest of the plants.